Good evening. We're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG progression series. Playing solo as always, and tonight's quest is the Caves of Nibbin Doom. It's the second quest of the two player limited edition starter set. I have never played this quest before or even seen the quest cards, so let's take a look and see what we got. Well, first I need to get a hand. That looks fine. Search the encounter deck for Goblin Chieftain, Cracked Pillar, and Cave Torch. Cracked Pillar, Chieftain, Cave Torch. Set them out of, aside out of play. Attach Cave Torch to one of the heroes. Just put that on Aowen. Shuffle the encounter deck. Each player searches the encounter deck for a different location and adds it to the staging area. So what are we got here? When I have a choice to search for a location, typically I look at the travel cost and just choose the mildest one. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck. No. No travel costs. Branching paths. No travel costs. But when it leaves play, you have to reveal a, an encounter card. Have to exhaust Cave Torch, that's not too big a deal, but it does start with 4 threat. After, okay, so I think I want the Collapsed Mine. The others get shuffled back into the deck. And we just need 8 progress on the caves to advance, so let's get started. Vilia is good here. And we'll go ahead and blindly Vilia. For Gildor, that's great. A high percentage of the cards in this deck are very useful. So blind Vilia is generally fine. I'll go ahead and play Heat the Dream and look at the top five. Choose a card. I will choose... Ooh, which do I want? Jubayar or Ferial? It's going to be a while for either of them. Which one would I rather draw off the top of my deck? Which one would I be sadder if I drew and it was a duplicate? Well, I don't know. I don't think it matters really. I'll grab Ferial. I think he's a little higher priority generally. So, Collapsed Mine means I can't place more than four on the quest. Let's go three, seven, to two, three. When revealed, discard the top card of each player's deck. It's a two, so he's got three threat. Four, five, to my seven. Two progress. We'll go ahead and move to Collapsed Mine. And this enemy will engage, and he can attack Lorfendel. If the attack is undefended, it's not. So one to one, no damage. On to the next round. We'll fill you again. Unexpected courage, that's good. So I can ready Elrond. Do I want to heed the dream again? I'm looking for a steward of Gondor. Nope, no Steward of Gondor. I could grab other Heat the Dream and continue looking next round. Let's go ahead and do nothing else. I'm just going to quest for four, five, six, seven. The card is Crumbling Ruin. Each player must exhaust a character and discard the top card of his deck. If able, if the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points of the exhausted character, discard the exhausted character. All right, we'll exhaust Glorfindel. He's got five hit points. It's five. If the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points 
of the exhausted character, discard the exhausted character, well rip Glorfindel. How unfortunate. That may be a loss. Interesting. We'll take this attack undefended. Attacking enemy gets plus three for being a goblin. That's four undefended. That's going to kill another hero. Okay, well I guess we're resetting. That's funny. I've never played this uh, quest before. I have no idea what in what encounter, what hazards to expect, or what the deck might try to throw. But that was funny. Uh, yep. Okay, here we go. Do I like this hand? It's fine. Steward of Gondor, but no Song of Kings. We'll just quest for seven. The card is, so I have to exhaust Elrond and hope for the best. Nope, Elrond's dead. <laughs> Uh, okay, so do I need some Test of Wills? I mean, I may not have had it in the opening hand. That's rough. This deck might not be that good against this quest because a lot of the cards are high cost. That hand is fine. Uh, not doing anything except questing for seven. Crumbling Ruin again. Well, here we go again. Nope, dead again. <laughs> Ugh. What is this? Equal to or higher than the remaining hit points. Rough. I may need to play the Outlands deck or something else that has generally lower cost cards in it. Let's go. Okay, gather information. I'll work on that until it's complete. And once again, we'll try exactly the same thing. And this time it's four, five, six, so one progress. We'll go ahead and move there, which requires exhausting the cave torch. When it's exhausted, you discard the top card of the encounter deck, and it is an enemy, so it gets added to staging, and it's going to engage and attack Elrond for no damage. On to the next round. We'll get out Master of the Forge. And use it. Hoping for Song of Kings, I'd say. As Floth is good. Uh, do I want Arraignment of War? Well, I don't have a warrior to play it on, really, so no. I don't have anything to play at the moment. We will just quest with Eowyn for four. The card is Great Cave Troll. It's three, four, five, so I lose by one. For each excess point of combat damage, remove one progress from the quest. Okay. Uh, well, not going to do anything else. Just take the attack on Elrond. Deal one damage to the defending character, that's fine. Glorfindel can kill him. And we're on to the next round. We'll keep looking for Song of Kings. Let's see. One more turn and I could play Eagle of the Misty Mountains. Nothing to do this round. But quest. So let's quest for seven. The cards. Each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and put it into play engaged with him. 
Okay. Goblin, 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 goblin. Goblin scavenger. That's fine. I'll take that attack undefended. For one. Then Alron can kill it. No, Alron can't kill it. Just two. Alright, on to the next round. Come on, Steward, or Song of Kings. Nope. Let's go ahead and Darren's Runes. Draw two. There it is. Discard one. So I'll play Song of Kings for one. I'll play Steward of Gondor for two. I'll play Asphaloth for two. Unexpected Courage for two. I think I won't use Eowyn's resource. I'll, I'll use Glorfindel's to play for song, pay for Song of Kings. That way I can still play Guardian of the Misty Mountains. Or Eagle of the Misty Mountains. Okay. We're getting off the ground. So a quest, quest, and quest. So I'm questing for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, here's the dreaded card. So we're exhausting Glorfindel. And this time it doesn't kill anybody. Great. So I'm questing for nine to five is four progress. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'll add Faloth first to eliminate this. So I make two progress on the quest. Not enough to clear it, though. Then we'll have the Goblin Scavenger attack undefended for one. And Elrond can kill it. Okay. As you can tell, I learned nothing from my past mistakes. Three. I don't have anything I can do. Let's keep looking, hoping for Vilia, actually. There it is. Great. Well, I'll be rolling now. Four, one, two, and we go ahead and use it blindly. That's not useful. Uh. I'll hold off on playing anything. I could play Gladrum's Greeting, I could play Master of the Forge, but I'd like to save for Fury All instead. So let's just go ahead and go, let's see, 8 is what I want to quest for. I want to save somebody back for that Crumbling Ruin. Probably the Eagle of the Misty Mountains. So let's just quest for 7. 3, 6, 7. Clears gather information. So I can look through my deck for one card. And I think the one card I want is probably Jubiar. Oops, didn't mean that button. Okay. Not going to engage these trolls, they can stay there for a moment. On to the next round. Let's get out Jubiar, not Furiel. I have a pressing need for combat capabilities, so one, two, three, four, five, and Raiment of War, as he is a warrior. So he will be at four shields and five HP. Much more capable of taking on a cave troll. Philia was not super productive, but that's not terrible. Let's master the forge. Should have done that first, but oh well. Would have just been a Master of the Forge instead. Let's go ahead and quest for 3, 7. I wonder if I could engage both cave trolls in one round and just take them out with Eowyn. 
Jubayar could tank one, Eagle the Misty Mountain tank the other, and just kill them both. So let's quest for three, six, I'll just eat the threat. So eat four threat. And that way both of these can engage in one round. Here they come. After I move to Lightless Passage, which means discarding a card, it is an enemy. Gets added to staging. And it will engage as well. So three attacks. First one on Jubiar, he can discard the shadow card. So it will deal two damage to him. Second attack on Eagle of the Misty Mountains. If this attack destroys a character, return attacking enemy to the staging area. Well, that's annoying. Very annoying. Ruins my plan. Attack Glorfindel. If this attack is undefended, it's not. Two damage. Let's use Asphaloth. Uh, do I want to use Aowen here? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. So we'll have her attack here and use her once per game to up her abilities to 10. Take out the troll. Take out the goblin runner. Very annoying shadow card. Oh well. On to the next round. Let's get Fury all out. Let's fill you and see what we get. Well, I should wait on Fury all until I see if I draw one with Philia, since I'm doing it blind. Now it's yours. That's good though. Maybe I don't want a Fury all then. Because I could use Yorith to heal Jubiar and then tank the Great Cave Troll with him. So I'm going to do that instead. Heal Jubiar. And do I want to play a Knight of the White Tower? I think so. Let's do it for one, two, three, four. Just delay Furiel. And we'll quest for three, seven. Uh, first let's use Master of the Forge. Agreement of War. That can be good on Knight of the White Tower. And then we'll quest for seven. Eh, I think that's all since I have to deal with this great cave troll. Seven to six. Well, first I'll use Asphaloth to clear. Then I make one progress on the quest. Having difficulty stabilizing here. These are both going to engage. And I have two attacks to deal with. One will go on Jubiar. He can discard the shadow card and take two damage. And the other will just hope for the best on the Knight of the White Tower. If the attack is undefended, it's not, so two damage. Okay. Then I can attack back for five, but deal two damage to the goblin troop. This is a much more difficult quest than the first one, even with a good deck. But I am getting set up. Let's get Stargazer out, see if that can help. Fury all could come out. That's good. Yeah. Then what do I want to draw? Heat the Dream is a fine draw. So let's fill you out Fury all. Use Yorith to heal Jubiar. I can't play Raiment of War this round. nor another Knight of the White Tower. I could play Heed the Dream. Is there anything I could dig for that would be helpful this round? 
I don't think so. Uh, I may use Master of the Forge as a chump blocker. Let's quest with Fury all and take a look at the top card of the deck. That is fine. I'll just leave it. So I'm only going to quest with Fury all and Aon for seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have two attacks to deal with. First one, get Great Cave Troll, discard the shadow card, two damage. Next one for five, Master of the Forge. There went one of those crumbling ruins. So how much do I need here? Ten, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I can kill this. I will do that. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's four damage. Make in progress. Almost stabilized. Use Asphaloth. Off it goes. After branching paths, leaves play as an explored location. Look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Players must choose one to reveal. Move the other two to the bottom of the deck. Okay, which one of these do I want to reveal? Goblin Tunnels. Not Dungeon. Eh, branching Paths. Nah. We'll just go with Goblin Tunnels. Oh wait, why am I doing that? I got confused by the threat being down there. It's three progress that I need. So I don't actually complete it. Whoops. Let's put those back. Oh wait, where did they go? Oh, I put one back on the top by accident. What order were they in? I think Goblin Dungeon was first, right? It was like this order, so... Unfortunately I have four knowledge, so maybe I should just shuffle. Probably should, so I don't know what's coming. But that's a pretty bad location, so it kind of benefits me to shuffle, so maybe I shouldn't. My mistake, I got confused. I'm so used to cards having the numbers in different spots. Anyway, Asphaloth does not clear the location this round. So on to the next round. Let's go ahead and play... Let's use Stargazer. Faramir seems good. Like to draw Arwen as well. So let's fill ya out Faramir. And Yorth for sure is something I want to do. Should I play Knight of the White Tower? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. And Raiment of War. I could heed the dream, but if I save it, I could play, save the resource, I could play another Knight of the White Tower next round. Now I want to quest with Fury all. Take a look at the top card of the deck. It's Goblin Dungeon. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. Well, that's fine, I think. It's pretty strong. For me, when it does leave play. So it's one, two, three, four. So I'd like to quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more progress. No, actually, I don't think I would. I don't think I want to advance yet. It's so one, two, three, four, five. To one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to break even. Then after quest resolution, well, later I'm going to clear branching paths. But for now, we'll take the attack on Jubiar. Discard that shadow card, two damage, and I can attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and finally take out the great cave troll. And 
and now I will use as Azvaloth to clear branching paths, which means I look at the top three. Which one do I want and which one goes on the bottom? Goblin tunnels, collapsed mine, that's fine. Collapsed mine, the other two can go on the bottom. Okay. So, now we're underway. Stabilize the board. Collapsed ruin shouldn't be a big deal. I'll try to leave somebody active to deal with it. On to the next round. Arwen, and I'll Yorith, Heed the Dream, which one do I want, Unexpected Courage, and we'll go ahead and Stargazer now. Uh, none of these cards are very good. I guess I'll draw the Heat the Dream, but don't really want to Vilia this round. So we're going to put Arwen Shields on Jubiar. Furial, let's take a look at the top of the deck. It's Cavern Warg. That's fine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, I don't really. I, don't, I have no idea what's coming in phase two, having never played this quest before. However, so far the difficulty has been very high, so I'm thinking about for maximum safety clearing this staging area more before advancing. I could certainly choose to advance here. I'm also thinking, though, that my threat is 44, though I do have Galadrim's Greeting in hand. So, let's see. I'm gonna Asphalath Goblin Dungeon away. Lapsed Mine isn't too big a deal. Maybe I just go ahead and advance. How much would I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right there. Let's do it. Let's move ahead. Phase 2. Add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area. Each other player, each player searches the encounter guard deck and discard pile for a different enemy of his choice and adds it to staging. Well, I'll just choose something pretty innocuous, I'd say. Oh, we're almost through the encounter deck. Uh, the enemy I choose will be Goblin Scavenger. It's an add, not a reveal. So, surprise attack. During the encounter phase, treat each engagement, enemy's engagement cost as if it were zero. The stage gets plus four quest points for each enemy in play. X is the stage of the quest. Cannot take damage, cannot have attachments. After he attacks, either remove X progress from the quest or return it to the staging area. Okay. So all enemies will engage. We have three attacks to deal with. Oh, I'm out of cards in the encounter deck, so no shadow card for the last guy. He's attacking for two at the moment. He attacks for three, so we'll put that on Jubiar. This one will go on the Knight of the White Tower. That's zero damage, and he'll be returned to the staging area since I can't remove progress from the main quest. Jubiar can cancel the shadow card, so no damage. And then I'll go one, two, three, and kill the goblin scavenger. And I need five there. One, two, three, four, five. This deck is a little light on attack compared to the Grimbjorn version. I definitely should have moved to Collapsed Mine, sorry about that. 
forgot about that. I'll retcon that to move things along because I don't think the outcome of the quest is in jeopardy. So delaying by a turn would just stall the game. And as for the dungeon, I'm going to start as flothing that. So on to the next round. We'll get out the last night of the White Tower. And Yorth. Heal damage off of Knight of the White Tower. Let's go ahead and Stargazer. Anything there worth getting? No, there is not. I would love a new shuffle, but the only way I have to do it is Heed the Dream right now. And I don't have resources for it. I preferred to heal. Use Fury All. The card is Goblin Tunnels. That's fine, I'll let it through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is what I'm facing. Uh, he will he will attack, but I can quest with everyone except for one defender. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 29, to 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 22 progress, 16 more, 4 completes the quest, so we're on to phase 3, set Goblin Chieftain aside out of play, add Cracked Pillar to the staging area, what that do? While Cracked Pillar is in the staging area, it gains. The first player may declare an attack against Cracked Pillar during the combat phase as if it was an enemy engaged with him. Use Cracked Pillar's threat as its shields during the attack. Travel. Remove 4 damage from Cracked Pillar to travel here. Uh, well, can't I just as floth it away? It's not immune to player card effect. What's this side say? Reveal an additional encounter card during the quest phase. Progress can't be placed on Cracked Pillar while it's in the staging area. There it is. After Cracked Pillar leaves play as an explored location, advance to stage 4A. Okay. Well, now I can move to one of these. Not Cracked Pillar, but I could move to Goblin Tunnels. And I can attack this for, I'll Asphaloth for the dungeon, then I'll attack for three, four, five, six, seven against two shields. One, two, three, four, five. So I can travel there next round. On to the next round. Let's go ahead and Yorth. Heal up. We can... I'd like to get a fresh shuffle, so let's heed the dream. And grab, I don't know, the extra Yorth, I guess. Alright, now I can Stargazer. There's still Eagles of the Misty Mountains in there. There's also Elf Helm. Eagle of the Misty Mountains. Philia it out. Okay, well let's just go ahead and fear y'all. Could also play another Unexpected Courage first on Elrond since he's a decent defender. Oh, uh, whoops, Philia. Okay. So, Furia, I'll take a look at the top card. It's Goblin Sniper. Do I care? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 14 is what I need, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, now uh, let's go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 16. To 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, I can as floth that away. When it leaves play, I search the top five for an ally and put it into play under my control. I know the top card is Elf Helm, so that'll be fine. Then I shuffle. So I do clear the location. Oh, I have to reveal an additional encounter card, so that'll be branching paths. So it's, what was it? 16, right, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 progress. Okay. I can remove 4 progress to travel there. I almost didn't quest for enough because I forgot I was revealing two encounter cards. So you can't place progress on the staging area. So if I'd quest, if I'd remembered and quested for more, I would have been able to win the game this round because I could have Asphaloth cracked Pillar away once it's out of the staging area. But oh well, I'll engage the Goblin Sniper. You can attack Jubiar and cancel the shadow card. And then I got Elrond can take him out. On to the next round, and then we'll just immediately Asphaloth clear cracked pillar. And that will end the game after cra oh no, it won't. There's more. After cracked pillar leaves play as an explored location advanced to 4A. Add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area. While there are at least 8 progress tokens on this stage, Goblin Chieftain loses the text cannot take damage. The stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Chieftain is in play. When the stage is defeated, the heroes rescue the captives fulfilling their oaths, and the players win the game. Okay. After he attacks, either remove X from the quest or return to the staging area. Okay. So... Take a look with the Maldra Stargazer, I guess. Play Heed the Dream first. Look at the top five. What do we got here? I guess I'll grab Unexpected Courage. And then we'll Stargazer. Uh, Gildor's good. Fill you that out. Okay, and we'll fear y'all. Take a look at the top card of the deck. Life, Lightless Passage. Okay, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. I would need 19. So we'll go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20 to 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9 progress. I'll need more than that, I think. Let's go an additional 3. Uh, I need, yeah, 3 should be good. So, Lightless Passage is in staging. And Goblin Chieftain will engage. He'll attack for four against Jubiar. Discard the shadow card. But he does remove four progress from the quest. And then I need 12 damage to kill him. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And that will defeat the Goblin Chieftain and end the, end the game. So I struggled with this one at first. I don't know if this quest is hard or easy or if I'd had bad luck 
or brought the wrong deck, or some combination thereof. I would say the first quest in this two-player starter set was quite easy. This quest was definitely more of a challenge, and as you saw, you can definitely lose even with a pretty good deck. I lost multiple times, in fact, and it was a longer quest too. It was hard to stabilize the board early with the multiple trolls and the goblin troop. Could have been bad luck, or could be just a quest that's more difficult than the last. But anyway, thanks for watching.